Hey everybody, it's Russell Blank here. I just wanted to make a short video trying to explain how a metal underground water piping system can act as a parallel neutral. All right, so what you're looking at is my amp meter clamped around the neutral for my service here, All right? There it is, comes up, goes outside, connects right to the utility transformer and run, running about 18 and a half amps on the neutral. Now this neutral is bonded to the metal underground water pipe via the grinding electrode conductor. So if you come down here, I have a different meter around my uh, grinding electrode conductor, right? This wire in this amp meter is connected to the neutral, right? And it's running about 4.2 amps. And this goes down here and connects to the metal underground water pipe where I have a, another meter. And you can see these two meters are virtually the same. 4.5 amps right now on the grinding electrode conductor and 4.5 amps on the water pipe. I have a, the current sensor clamped right around the water pipe. So the water pipe is carrying about the same current as the grinding electrode conductor. And so right now the water pipe is acting as a parallel neutral. And that's because this, the water pipe in my house goes underground, outside, down the street, and connects to all my neighbor's neutrals. So this water pipe is connected to the neutral here at my house, and it's also connected to the transformer neutral at all my neighbor's houses too. So this water pipe is just simply acting as a parallel conductor with the neutral. Hopefully uh, that helps explain a little bit why seeing current flow on water pipe is not abnormal. In fact, I don't know how it wouldn't flow. I don't know how that would even be possible for electrons to not flow on this water pipe right now, since it's bonded to my neutral and all my neighbor's neutrals, which are all connected to the same transformer neutral. Thanks guys.